Let's go watch this guy solicit a trespass. <clears throat> I actually have a membership. I have a membership at this Circle K. For $5.99, you can get a drink. You hear that? I already asked that. What's your name and badge number, Mr. Cohen? Name and badge number, sir. I need you to identify yourself in writing. Thank you very much. So when you talk Hey, what's up, everybody? It's James Freeman. Today's video comes to us from Phil Martinez on YouTube. He's got a ton of videos up, including cop watches, audits, number of other things. So please make sure to head over to his channel, hit the subscribe button, and ring the bell so that you get notified every time he uploads a new video. Now, before I show you Phil's video, let me give you a little bit of background to what's going on and the context of the situation that he's in. In Phil's video, he's recording the Mesa, Arizona Police Department. Now, by way of introduction, let me introduce you to the Mesa Police Department. The Mesa Police Department are the ones who murdered a father of four, Daniel Shaver, in a hotel hallway while he pleaded for his life. You think you're gonna fall, you better fall on your face. Your hands go back in the small, your back are down. We are going to shoot you, do you understand me? Mesa police are also the ones who engaged in this gang beating, where they beat a man for refusing to sit on the floor like a dog. Mesa police can be found starring in dozens, if not hundreds, of videos on the channel Direct D on YouTube. They can be found bullying, intimidating, and trying to get rid of any and every camera that attempts to record their gang-like activities. Their most common bullying tactics recently used to get rid of cameras include putting up tape, and wrapping off huge areas and telling people that they can't come close enough to be able to record, document, and see and hear what's going on. Their other tactic is to ask private property owners to trespass the cameraman while they're recording police activity. Oftentimes, they don't even actually ask the property owner for permission to trespass people. They just do it without the property owner's permission. Most recently, the Mesa police arrested three individuals for allegedly trespassing on this Circle K property without even being given the opportunity to leave. But that's a much bigger story and a story for another day. Because as it turns out, the owner of this Circle K is actually a local judge. And it would appear that both the judicial and the executive branch were conspiring together to violate these people's rights to record police activity. <laughs> what the fuck's wrong with you, man? Here at the staff you guys Me? Yep. Both you guys. Okay, well, uh, I'll just I'll just leave. I'm I'm a customer, man. Well, you're already here, though. On ID. They want ID. So. Where's the security? I haven't done anything. Where's it? Hey, would you like me to leave, sir? So I'm de I'm lawfully detained. Wow, interesting. You keep recording. Sit down. We know that only about 3% of cops are bad cops and 97% are good cops. But within the Mesa Police Department, we have yet to see any of that 97% of good cops step up and tell the 3% to stop being bad cops. Apparently, this 97% of good cops within Mesa Police Department are extremely elusive. So now that we've established that the Mesa Police Department are a gang of thugs who like to bully, beat, and murder for their own personal enjoyment while attempting any methods they can to get people to stop recording them while they bully, beat, and murder for their own personal enjoyment. We show you Phil Martinez's video of Mesa Police. What is up Community Tap News? It is Phil Martinez here. You're not gonna believe what I caught here. So we all know Mesa Police recently arrested three auditors at, on Mesa prop on Circle K property and did their thing against them, filed charges, found out it was a judge and all that. So I decided to go out with um, a few other auditors, Direct D, Arizona Unfiltered, um, some people from Tucson too as well, and you're not gonna believe what I caught. So this lady right here had a passenger in her car and she was suspected of DUI. Well, you're not gonna believe this, but I walked up and before this scene even unfolded, I heard an officer telling her, her partner that she could not remain on the property and watch her partner go through this test. Nailed it. And then they told her that if she did not leave, she'd be considered loitering and arrested for trespassing. Now this lady was a black woman, and they're, you know, this is a lesbian couple, so they're LGBTQ. So of course, I oh, was not happy with that. I asked the owner who was right there. You guys all saw it. He told me what was going on. I decided to flip on my camera, and these cops were not happy about it. You can see how angry they are. 
Um, they actually go in and solicit a trespass. Check it out. I caught it on video. Watch this. Nuts. Whoever told her partner to leave, I need to get that badge number because you never asked the store owner and her partner is allowed to stay here per the store owner. So you guys know. They told your partner she had to leave or she'd be facing trespassing, loitering. They they never talked to the, the clerk and the clerk said that she could stay. He said I could stay on the property and tape them too. I got that on video. So, and you look like you nailed it pretty good there. Good job. I definitely will be getting, I'll get you guys my attorney's number, Steve Benedetto, the people's law firm. You guys are definitely gonna wanna get a hold of for these two officers, especially the one telling your partner to leave. It was one of these officers. I'm good, how are you? Oh, we're glad you guys are all joining us live. We're here at Mesa. Um, I pulled up and one of these officers was asking a lady to leave for, she, for loitering. This lady's passed all her drug tests, all her DUI stops that I could tell. Nailed it. This clerk here at Circle K says that officer never came and asked him to tell her to leave. So whoever officer did that violated the law. I want his ID. We all know Mesa PD is being investigated by the Federal Bureau of Investigations. No, a judge probably does not own this one. Don't worry, I already got him on video saying I can record you guys. I also got him on video saying he didn't tell you to take, tell her to partner to leave. Let's go watch this guy solicit a trespass. <clears throat> I actually have a membership. I have a membership at this circle, okay? For five ninety nine, you can get a drink. You hear that? I already asked that. What's your name and badge number, Mr. Cohen? Name and badge number, sir. I need you to identify yourself in writing. Thank you very much. So when you told that lady to leave, you're wrong. Can I get your supervisor out here, please? I'd like to file a report against you for telling someone they have to leave for loitering when no one asked that. Your name. Yes, sir. It is 124. Thank you, sir. Fucking piece of shit. Bet your wife thinks you're fucking real respectful, huh? I just caught you doing something stupid, you fucking idiot. Oh, yeah, he did. Oh, I got it on video. I literally got him say, asking. I already got the guy on video telling me I could stay, though. No, he did. He said I could stay. I got a membership at Circle K. For $5.99, you can get a subscription for a drink a day. Guys, these are the extremely petty lengths that the Mesa Police Department goes to every single day to try to stop people from recording and documenting their actions. While these cops know that people have the right to document them in their official capacity, as you can see in this video and dozens of others, their petty behavior is not about stopping crime. They couldn't make it any more clear that everything that they're doing is directly attempting to violate people's right to record, while they're pretending that they're enforcing laws like loitering and trespassing. But there's still one more element to this video that I want to discuss. At the beginning of this video, Phil mentioned that there was another individual that was in this car when it was stopped, the passenger. These bully cops had the nerve to tell the passenger that she had to get out of the car and leave the property while her significant other was interrogated and bullied 
by the Mesa police. Now, as I showed in another video with Mesa police, these are typical predatory practices. Predators want to be alone with their victims because it's a lot easier to bully, manipulate, and intimidate your victim if you can get them alone. No, no, that's not true. That's absolutely wrong. I'm with him. No, I'm with them. Can you move back over there, please? Look, sir? she doesn't have to give her ID. Arizona statute says only if she's lawfully detained or arrested. Stop trying to ask for her ID. She already told you she doesn't want to. You don't need to verify anything, man. She already told you she doesn't want to. You're bullying her now. I'm relaxed. Stop. Stop. By recognizing these types of predatory practices, you can help to defend yourself and others from them. While the Mesa police were able to bully this woman's significant other away so that they could get her one-on-one -on -one and try to do whatever they wanted to do to her, they were unable to bully Phil in the same way. Notice that this field sobriety test ended very quickly after Phil arrived and started recording. As you can see in his video, she ends up being let go, so there were clearly no crimes committed. But what did these Mesa police officers have in store for this woman had Phil not arrived? In my experience of recording government and watching cops across the entire nation, I have absolutely come to the conclusion that when a government agent does not want to be recorded, if you keep recording, eventually you will find out what they had to hide. Huge thanks to Phil for recording this interaction, protecting these young ladies from these predators at the Mesa Police Department. Also, excellent job having the forethought to check with the store clerk first to make sure that the police wouldn't be able to go and trespass you later. Also guys, please don't forget, everyone head over to Phil's channel, hit the subscribe button, and ring the bell so that you get notified every time he uploads a new video.